Good afternoon. Thank you, Finance Chair Julissa Ferreras and Chair Sanitation Antonio Reynoso and uh, my fellow committee members for allowing me to speak today and get answers our city deserves. Uh, welcome to Sanitation Commissioner Catherine Garcia. Thank you for joining me last Friday and Pledge to Protect on a day-long tour of transfer stations in Staten Island, Brooklyn, Manhattan, and then Brooklyn again. Uh, and, a our new the hmm? and a lot of the BQE. And a lot of the BQE. <laughs> our new administration has already done so much to fix damage done by the previous administration. We ended stop and frisk, overturned vetoes on paid sick leave, made good on promises to universal pre-K, new contracts for those who haven't had them for years, and a commitment to affordable housing over stadiums. Please continue to reverse poor policies from the previous administration. Please stop this marine transfer station. This station is being placed between an Olympic training ground serving 30,000 children from all five boroughs and a housing development with 1,173 units within feet of six schools, 22,056 residents, and 6,755 residents of color. These staggering numbers demonstrate a greater impact in one location than nearly all six of the other planned locations combined. Please stop this marine transfer station. Both of the chairs of this hearing have asked you questions about the solid waste management plan, and I quote, have both said either it makes no sense or it doesn't make sense. The marine transfer stations violate borough equity by dumping Manhattan trash in Staten Island, another borough, instead of New Jersey, another state that actually wants our trash. The marine transfer stations have become a billion dollar boondoggle that is already exceeding the cost overruns seen in the city time scandal. The marine transfer station will force radioactive trash trucks to drive through a children's park. Please stop the marine transfer station. Commissioner, I ask you to put your considerable talent to working with the council and my community to stop this marine transfer station and focus on a modern 21st century solution that improves recycling and ends the cycle of waste to marine transfer to landfill that these stations represent. We are the greatest city in the world, and we can do better than this. Uh, in the interest of time and the fact that I only have two minutes and 30 seconds left, I am going to ask a whole series of questions, 18 in total, and if you can try to give 10 seconds answers or yes or no where that's directed. Uh, the first question is, have you read the Talking Trash report? Yes. Will, will you, do you agree with the findings of the report? Um, I'm not going to answer that as a yes, no. It's a much longer conversation. There are parts of it that H I think are very... Have you provided a response to the findings that you disagree with? I have not provided a written response Will you? to Pledge to Protect. I actually told Kelly yesterday that I would sit down with her and go through the findings. Uh, so I, as a council member, am asking that you please I'm happy provide... To, I'm happy to provide a written response. Thank you very much. Uh, where does Manhattan's residential waste currently go? It currently goes to New Jersey or to Yonkers. Does all of, uh, is New Jersey a borough? New Jersey is not a borough of the city of New York. Under the swamp, will Manhattan trash go from 91st Street to Staten Island? Yes, it will go to the New Jersey, uh, to the New York Container Terminal. Is Staten Island a borough? Staten Island is a borough. Is burdening one borough, Staten Island, with another borough's, Manhattan's trash, borough equity? Uh, we think that we are consistent with borough equity under this plan. And they do not feel like since it stays containerized the whole time it's on the island that they, do, they have not raised any you, you issue with it. You just told the chair of the finance committee that uh, you could not send something from, uh, in, in from Far Rockaway to another part of Brooklyn, even though the, the uh, sanitation chair agreed that it might be better to go less truck traffic because of borough equity, because the hard and fast you cannot take trash from one borough to another because of borough equity. So I, I find that this is a, a clear, um, th this, this is clearly a violation of that term. Um, in terms of cost overruns, the estimated cost for the 91st Street Marion Transfer Station was $43.9 million in fiscal year 2002 to 2005. Mm -hmm. 
$121.8 million fiscal year 2008-2009 and $181.6 million in fiscal year 2013-2014. What is it now? 215. So that is a 489 percent increase, so almost five times the original cost. Right. But you have to actually. This is, this is the same track as city time was at. The, the only. No, this is a very, very, I, I actually, that's. That, this is a very different issue. City time was a registered contract at $75 million that escalated by 10 times. These were not registered contracts. These were preliminary designs which did not get registered for many years. So you have escalation and you have redesign that happens prior to bidding the contract. Many of the items that cause these cost overruns are to make it so we can be a good neighbor to the community, such as having negative air pressure within the facility to hold odors in. It's so that we have a facility that mitigates noise. It's so that we have a facility that has odor neutralizers. It's so that we have a facility with rapid roll-up doors so we are getting trucks in and out as quickly as possible. It's so that we can mitigate uh, any trucks on the ramp so that there's no queuing on York Avenue. So these are all things that change the design of the facility over time. Having a preliminary estimate before you've actually done design is a very different situation than, than what happened during city time, which was a criminal situation. So the comparison is not applicable. Thank you, Commissioner, for your brevity in our first uh, line of questioning. <laughs> Absolutely. According to the Independent Budget Office report in 2012, the current waste management cost of $90 per ton, while this marine uh, this marine transfer station will increase the cost to $238 a ton, more than $148 more per ton. And at the last hearing, your previous commissioner, Commissioner Doherty, admitted that it would, in fact, be more expensive. Do you concur? Yes. Will Department of Sanitation or the city ever offer incentives to commercial haulers to use the 91st Street Marine Transfer Station? Offer incentives like pay them to use it? Yep. I don't think we'll be paying them to use it, no. Like asking that like we'd give them money to come to the you, you give them incentives. You you give them a, a rebate based on what the actual cost is to the city. Where what they what are the not cost will be what we will rate. charge them to tip has not yet been determined. Will there will there be any discounts for commercial haulers in order to incentivize them to use ninety first street versus another commercial facility in the city? Uh, I do not know what the other commercial facilities are charging them. We will determine what we will charge them when we get to that point. When is that point? Is it 2016? Is it 2014? Is it 2018? Well, we're, we, are, we are quite, we're not done yet. Um, we are still building the facility. We believe that the facility is going to be done in 2016. We are going to operate all of our facilities for at least a year with just DSNY trucks to work out all the bugs about how the operations need to be managed. So you're, we're, we're several years away from having to make that determination. The costs have already gone up by almost 500 uh, percent, more than, more than quintuple, almost quintupling. Uh, at what point is, is it too much? If, if it hits $400 million, is that too much? Well, we've already. Is it yes I'm, or I'm, no? It's not. It's not a yes or no. I, question. I have three that, minutes the, to ask you all the questions. The that I need the, to. the premise of the question is so much more complicated than uh, and how you think about money and what you've already spent. Uh, so I, I can't answer that as a yes or no question. D so, so does cost matter? Cost absolutely matters, but it's one factor. But this among costs many, more. Among many factors around equity and around fairness for all city residents, because I think what we're hearing today is that nobody likes a transfer station in their neighborhood. Um, and so I, I think that's the challenge. Do, do the DSNY trucks carry radioactive materials? The DSNY, yes no? the DSNY trucks pick up medical waste, and occasionally we do have, uh, they have detectors at all of our transfer stations, as do all transfer stations. Is the it protocol safe for those radioactive materials to be around children? The Department of Health and Mental Hygiene has actually determined that it is safe to our employees who are driving in the trucks. Are, are, they, are they small children? Are they these small children? Are you driving the trucks past these small children with radioactive materials in them? 
We are driving the trucks that we drive through the streets of New York every single day in the same way that we have done for many, many years. Uh, these are primary issues with uh, low-grade medical waste from people who have cancer. Is, is there any other marine transfer station site in the city where you have to drive past six schools, 22,056 residents, and 6,750 residents of color uh, in, in order to, to get there within the, the quarter mile ra radius? Do you have to drive past this scene to put anything into one of your marine transfer stations? Uh, all, well, actually, we that, probably that's, will that's, near, that's near, near Nellie Bly in Southwest because we have to turn the corner right by the amusement park. Um, where I, I do believe that small children actually play. I don't think that's a good site either. I don't think anybody's uh, playground is a great site for a marine transfer. I, I, I would Thank agree you, with you that there are, um, that there is no place in the city where people feel that marine transfer stations are actually something that they are inviting me to build. We have industrial zones for a reason. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Council Member Kalos. Um, and now we will have some more questioning from our co-chair. Thank you. Certainly. Thank you. And I just want to state that um, the industrial zones are there for economic development and give great opportunities to the city of New York. Um, it just happens to be that when the industrial zones were built or where they were situated, because of bad planning, it just happens to be that poor black and brown kids um, and families had to station there. Uh, no one else would live there, so we had to. So uh, when it comes to planning, I think it's, uh, it's a mess to say the least. Uh, we have 16 waste transfer stations that are currently located in North Brooklyn, and we have over 20,000 tons of capacity. I, I applaud and thank the city of New York and the Department of Sanitation to be willing to pay more money for environmental justice, to bring justice to our community, and I, I do applaud them. Very rarely does the city of New York, or I personally feel, does the city of New York invest in poor communities. This is an example of where they're willing to put their money where their mouth is. So I am grateful for it. Um, I also want to talk about the, the expansion or the increase of funding or money that it costs to, to make this plan. Um, I think it's deceptive to, to ask yes or no questions to things that, are very, that are, are, are very important for people to hear the entire answer to. Um, and one of them is this 47 million that originally was put forth by the Department of Sanitation as to what the entire budget was going to be. Um, it's a placeholder. It's an attempt to, to begin a process that is much more comprehensive. And in that time, the money that has been increased was to mitigate a lot of the concerns that your residents are going to have to deal with in the long term. We're talking about noise. We're talking about pollution. We're talking about pest control. We're talking about air control. All of it is extremely valuable, and you should be also be thankful that if the facility is going to be built, it's going to be the state of the art facility that's going to mitigate um, circumstances, uh, mitigate pollution and issues that your residents would um, would be dealing with. Um, I also do want to say that you talk about kids in your district, uh, Council Member Kalos, and you talk about the, 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 the environment or the surroundings, 16 waste transfer stations. I have 170,000 people in my district, just as you do. You're going to handle 900 tons. I'm handling 20,000 tons. So I would put you up against my community any day in regards to what other community is dealing with this many, um, these many issues. So I just want to let you know both you and the rest of the, the folks that are in this room, that we have a lot of issues that we obviously have to talk about. And um, um, the, the commissioner has been very helpful in addressing a lot of those issues, I think, today by answering those questions. But I will not fault the city for willing to invest in environmental justice. So I just wanted to have that statement. Uh, this is just to respond to earlier comments. Uh, we, we, we can't invoke justice for a zero-sum equation. We left eye for an eye behind in, in the Sinai Desert. Right now, Manhattan's trash, as the commissioner has said, is going to New Jersey. It's going to New Jersey, not Brooklyn, New Jersey. Uh, and we can't be turning on each other as council members when there are a number of council members today who have said that the solid waste management plan does not make sense. And so we need to engage the problem and we have to figure out how we can handle our trash better, and we have to work with our commissioner to make sure that Manhattan trash isn't going to another borough, it's going to New Jersey, where everyone seems to be fine with it going. And I don't want it sent it to Staten Island, and I want everyone on the body to support me in saying, we're done dumping on Staten Island. 
But um, the, the last thing I just want to object to is I, I'm not okay with the number of answers to questions that weren't answered here but are going to be answered in meetings later behind closed doors. I'm really, really passionate about transparency. We just introduced an open FOIL bill. Uh, that, that can happen. When people ask you questions, it's, it's an answer here or you give it in writing and it's public information. And this idea of, of meeting as boroughs uh, because our interests are somehow unaligned, that's not okay. We need to be all noticed, we all need to be invited because we're in this city together. The tale of two cities is a campaign slogan. We are one city, New York City, five boroughs, unified together. And I, I think that with all the things that have come up and the fact that there's so many things that need follow-up or meetings, we need another hearing on it so that this can happen in public, in front of everybody here and anybody watching online. Thank you. Thank you.